Hey y'all, what's going on today? We're back for another reaction. Today I'm going to be reacting to Lost Season 3, Episode 6, 316. 316. Interesting. We've had some biblical references in the past. I don't think that this has anything to do with like John 316 or anything like that. Because 316, you know, yeah. So, I mean, we've, yeah, I don't think so. I don't know, it's interesting. It's, it's 316 is a weird um, title, a weird name. But I am excited to see what happens the pa past episode. This place is death is just an incredible episode. I think it might be one of my favorites. I think it's got to at least crack a top five. I don't even know if I can rank the episodes after this first watch through. Because I feel like you're so focused on this continual story as it's progressing forward. So it's really hard to, like, figure out, like, what episodes, like, rank above what episodes because you're just taking in the whole story. I think on a second watch through, I feel like you could probably narrow down which, like, are your favorites and such. Um, there's been such standouts, but it just feels like one giant continuous story that is just compelling as all heck. And it's it's incredible what what the what they do in the show and it, it's so crazy that this was coming out like when I was in middle school I had a friend who was super into it and like we didn't bully him or anything but we definitely were like oh you and your lost Joe or whatever little did he know like middle school friend was super into it so but yeah I am so excited to dive into episode 6 316 if you're new i want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for watching it does mean a lot and it does support the channel another way is by hitting the subscribe button as it also helps me it helps you that way you don't miss any new reactions hitting the like button helps spread this video to new viewers and that would really, really help grow the channel as well without further ado let's go ahead and watch and see what happens whoa and i is he back on the island Excuse me? He looks like his dad there. That's actually kind of crazy. Like, his face really looks like his dad. I think he's back on the island. Somehow. I wish. Whoa. This is... Oh, maybe this is a dream? It is early. Oh my gosh, is that Kate? Kate's here too? I guess that means they all came. Oh my gosh. Are we? Yeah. We're back. What? What happened? 46 hours earlier. Oh boy. This is wild. Dharma. Is this a Dharma station? Or something. This is crazy. That uh, flipping numbers. Let, let's have some lore. What is this place? The Dharma Initiative called it the Lamp Post. The Lamp Post. This is how they found the island. <laughs> Did you know about this place? No. No, I didn't. Is he telling the truth? Probably not. <laughs> I love it. All right, I apologize 54. if this is confusing. But oh. Let's over a unique pocket of electromagnetic energy. That energy connects to similar pockets all over the world. The people okay. who built this room, however, were only interested in one. The island. Yes. Then a very clever fellow built this pendulum on the theoretical notion that they should stop looking for where the island was supposed to be and start looking for where it was going to be. <laughs> that the island was always moving. Why do you think you were never rescued? 
with a high degree of probability. Was this Faraday? Where it is going to be at a certain point in time. Windows, as it were, that while open, provide a route back. Yours closes in 36 hours. <laughs> You're all going back to the island willingly? Yes. Why are you here, Desmond? <sighs> Daniel Faraday. Oh. Your son sent me here. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Desmond, but the island isn't done with you yet. Oh. This woman cost me four years of my life. There was my bloody purpose. These people, they're just using us. They're playing some kind of game and we are just the pieces. I don't think he's wrong. Um, we'll still see him. <laughs> the island's not done. There's a commercial airliner flying from L.A. to Guam that's going to go right through our window. Whoa. Ajira Airways, flight 316. Ah! If you have any hope of... You need to recreate as best you can the circumstances that brought you there in the first place. Oh, my that gosh. Means... And what if we can't get anyone else to come with us? What if we're it? All I can tell you is the result would be unpredictable. <laughs> so that's it. At least not for you. What does that mean? I mean we know his dad is somehow involved, maybe. Is this the note? It's John Locke's suicide note. Whoa. He had to have done that intentional for a reason or something. John is going to be a proxy. A substitute. A substitute for who? Your dad. Jack. Who do you think? Your dad. You need to, as best you can, recreate the conditions of the original flight. Oh my gosh. Which is why you need to give John something of your father's. Wow. That's what you have. John my knew father this. Is gone. My father has been dead for three years. You want me to. Oh, stop thinking how ridiculous it is and start asking yourself whether or not you believe it's going to work <laughs> that's why it's called a leap of faith jack oh she's so good i she's incredible when jesus wanted to return to judea knowing that he would probably be murdered there thomas said to the others let us also go that we might die with him. But Thomas was not remembered for this bravery. He's remembered for being His doubtful. His claim to fame came later when he refused to acknowledge the resurrection. He just couldn't wrap his mind around it. <laughs> There's a lot the story of... story goes that he needed to touch Jesus' wounds to be convinced. Oh my gosh, this is like... So was he? So interesting. <laughs> of course he was. Not me starting the episode off by saying, oh, I don't think there's going to be that many biblical references of this. <laughs> it works, though. Where are you going? <laughs> Just a loose end that needs tying up. See you at the airport, Jack. Is he going after Penny? Doubting Thomas? Doubting Jack? Shepard? Oh, uh, look at this. He's at a freaking bar like he was before. Oh, my gosh. Are we just going to recreate the whole first episode? A rabbit. Hey, Ray. Hey, Jack. When you get out of here, sooner the better. I'm going to help you unpack, Granddad. So how are you, kiddo? You seeing anyone special? The shoes. Is that his dad's shoes? Those were your father's. Oh my gosh. Can I take them? Mm. Be my guest. He's not doubting. That music. Is it Kate? Kate. Then I'm going with you. What happened? Where's Aaron? You didn't Where? ask questions. What? Do you want me to go with you? 
You'll never ask me that question again. You will never ask me about Aaron. Do you understand, Jack? She must have dropped him off at Claire's. Oh. You might want to consider hiking boots. <laughs> Those were my father's. When I went to pick up his body in Sydney, my dad didn't have any nice shoes. My mother wanted to have the funeral as soon as I landed back in L.A. Listen, we don't have much time. I've been uh, sidetracked, and I need you to pick up Locke's body and take it to the airport. Oh, my gosh. What happened Coffee to Ben? Is at Simon's Butcher Shop. Just do it. Please. He's by a boat yard. Oh, my gosh. He better not have done anything to Penny. Ben sent me. I know who you are, Dr. Shepard. Come on. <laughs> just coughing, just chilling, preserving the body. Wherever you are, John, you must be laughing your ass off. <laughs> and I'm actually doing this. What if he comes back just this like is. the other ones on the island? This is even crazier than you are. <laughs> Like, what if he like starts walking around like like Christian and such? You wanted me to go back. I'm going back. Mm, there might be something else important in there. My condolences. I'm sorry you lost your friend. Thank you. If there's even a chance that Chin is alive. I have to be on that plane. This is wild. Is he arrested? Oh my gosh, because Kate was arrested. Oh. Hurley's here. Yes, I see that. So these people just want to get to their destination. Why would you not want them to be able to travel? He doesn't, it doesn't matter why. They can take the next plane. <sighs> what are you doing here? How did you know about the... Oh, it matters that I'm here, right? Right? How did he know? Really? Oh my gosh. Wait, please. Thank you for not closing it. Ah, oh, Ben made it. Oh, that's okay. What happened to him? Who told you to be here, Hugo? <laughs> Is everything okay? Yes, Jack, I'll be fine. Oh. Oh. Jack Shepard, seat 8C? Yes. Now, if you two don't mind. Oh, that seats, letter. <laughs> Oh, there's other people. There's other people on this plane. What's going to happen to them? Who cares? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ajira Air. This is your captain, Frank J. Lapidus. And on behalf of the entire flight... Oh, my gosh! Board, currently, we're right on schedule. Well, hello, Doc. Small world. <sighs> what are you doing going to Guam? Yes. That's Saeed. Hurley. Okay. So, yeah. Wait a second. We're not going to Guam, are we? <laughs> That's gotta be an iconic line. How can you read? My mother taught me. <laughs> Did you know that Locke killed himself? No. No, I didn't. Remember what she said? Don't always believe him. I wish she had believed me. Dang. Oh. Here it is. He's probably handcuffed to her. Yep. Dude. You might want to fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> Oh, and the light. Oh my gosh. I think it worked. Especially with what we saw. And, yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I wish. One second being tossed around, next thing I know I'm in the lagoon. So Where is Sunny and Saeed? Different. Probably on the Where's island. Ben? Huh? Smoke monster? Oh no, it's a vehicle. They're not at the right time, are they? Jin? Wait. Why? Okay, so the episode was like. 
this episode was incredible, but it was like it was different and incredible because it was kind of giving us that nostalgic vibe of like the beginning and how they got here. It basically replicated it. So many fun Easter eggs. Um, yeah, how'd Hurley know? That's interesting. So, how did Hurley know? What did Kate do with Aaron? Saeed got there too. Ben and his messed up thing, but he was at the boat. That could not be good for Penny, maybe, or someone. Desmond was not, a, oh my gosh. And then Jen at the end is wearing Dharma. Y'all, y'all, what? What? This episode just is just bliss and just nostalgic. Um, very interesting biblical themes as well. We've seen that before a little more earlier in the show. Um, for a little bit here, we really haven't dived too much deep back into the religious themes, but definitely coming up there. Um, wonder what's going to happen of Locke. Because I, he, he could be a character that could... I could see him being resurrected and coming back to life. I could see him coming back, but kind of similar to whatever's going on with Christian, maybe. What we've seen with Walt and some other characters. I'm not sure. Jin's wearing... So, now, my question is, are they back on the island? I guess this would be... I don't even know now. Oh my gosh. This would have to be... After everything that had happened with the donkey wheel and everything with Locke. And all that. <laughs> Let's talk about this episode, because it was a good one, and it was crazy. My favorite part, talking about it with you guys. Down in the comics, let's start. Uh, here are some other videos of mine you might enjoy as well, and have a good rest of your day.